In this problem, we're told a ball is projected upward at time t equals 0 seconds from a point on a roof 70 meters above the ground and experiences negligible air resistance. The ball rises, then falls, and strikes the ground. The initial velocity of the ball is 28.5 meters per second. Consider all quantities as positive in the upward direction. The velocity of the ball, when it's 39 meters above the ground, is closest to, and we're given these options. Right? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this ball, right? Keep in mind it's 70 meters above the ground, right? And we know it's going to be launched at a speed of 28.5 meters per second. So it's going to go up, 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 rise, right? So when it hits top, it's going to fall down, right? And it's going to hit the ground. So what we're trying to do here is find the velocity at the 39 meter point, right? So 39 meters above the ground, that's what we want to find, the velocity. So the next part, what we want to do is just write down the given. So what kinematic variables are we given, right? So these are the kinematic equations. What we're going to do is find the variables we're given, and then we're going to try and solve it using what we're given. So first off the bat, we're told the initial velocity, right? So we're told V sub zero is equal to 28.5 meters per second, right? So what other variables are we given? So another variable we're given, or not given uh, directly, but we can find is delta y. So the change in its position, right? Keep in mind, keep in mind it's y because uh, we're in the y-axis, right? And so what is its change in y from the beginning to the interval we're trying to find it at? So what we're trying to do is find the velocity at 39 meters. So we want to find the change in y from its initial point to the velocity, uh, uh, or the, the height, right, at the point we're trying to find, the velocity. So it starts at 70, right, and it goes to 39. So you can find the change in the y by taking the final minus the initial. Right, so the final is 39 minus the initial, which is 70. Right, and so 39 minus 70 is just going to be 31. Or minus 31, sorry. So its change in y is going to be minus 31 meters. Right, so minus 31 meters, that's going to be the change in y. And then we're also told, or not told, but we assume in problems like these that acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? So this is just the acceleration due to gravity, and we're assuming we're on Earth, so that's what it is. And so now that we have our free fall problems, we just assume this is what it is, right? So we have V sub zero, we have delta Y, and we have A. And so what we're trying to do is solve for the velocity, right? So keep in mind, these are the kinematic variables for this uh, interval, right, from the beginning to minus 39, or 39 meters. And so what we want to do is use one of the kinematic equations to solve for V. And so if you look here, uh, the first three equations all contain T, and so we can't use those. But if you look at this one right here, we have V sub zero, we have uh, delta X, in this case, delta Y, because we're in the Y axis, but they're interchangeable. And then we also have A. So what we can do is solve for V, right? So just plugging in, right? So we have V squared equals V sub zero plus two A times delta Y. If I square root both sides, that's gonna get rid of the squared on this side. So V equals the square root, and then let's plug in our variables. So V sub zero is 28.5 squared plus two times a, a is just minus 9.8, and then times delta y. So delta y is just going to be minus 31. And so now we have all the variables plugged in. So you just wanna do the square root of 28.5 squared uh, plus two times minus 9.8 times minus 31. And when you do that, you'll get 37.68. And so this is gonna be meters per second, right? So basically if we look at our options here, uh, Keep in mind, right? So keep in mind when you do this, it's going to be a plus or minus, right? When you take a square root, it becomes plus or minus, right? So even though this is positive, keep in mind what it's going to, right? So positive would be upwards, right? Because it says positive is upwards and negative is downwards. So what we're going to do is choose the negative value because we obviously know it's going down, right? Because it's going like this and then it's going to go on its way down, right? It's not going up at this point because it has to be going down, right? So it's going to be minus... V equals minus 37.68 meters per second, right? And if we look at our answers, D is the closest to it, right? Minus 38. It's basically minus 38. But yeah, so just keep in mind that's the minus sign. So D is going to be minus 38 meters per second. Uh, but yeah, so your answer to this problem is going to be D. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.